Well, tonight there are growing fears about airline safety. We're learning that a Massachusetts man is under arrest after allegedly trying to open an emergency door during a United Airlines flight on Sunday and then later trying to stab a flight attendant. It's just the latest air scare to take place over the last week from bird strikes to severe turbulence. CBS's Lilia Luciano is at New York's LaGuardia Airport. Flight 215 board is restrained after attempts to open the emergency exit. The incident began aboard United Flight 2609 from Los Angeles to Boston, just 45 minutes before its scheduled landing. A passenger later identified as Francisco Torres allegedly attempted to stab a flight attendant three times with the handle of a broken spoon after he was asked whether he had tampered with an exit door. Passengers tackled and helped restrain Torres until the plane landed. Not going quietly. He's just laying there with six able bodies on top of him. Authorities said Torres later said he made the weapon and had wanted to jump out of the plane because he believed a flight attendant was trying to kill him. Well, just hours earlier, Bird struck Southwest Flight 3923, causing an engine to catch fire, filling the cabin with smoke. The Havana to Fort Lauderdale flight quickly returned to Cuba, where passengers safely evacuated via the emergency slides. And requesting medical assistance on the runway. Both incidents came just two days after a rear passenger death aboard a private jet. 55-year-old Dana Hyde died at a hospital following an emergency landing outside Hartford, Connecticut. Only information I have about the emergency is possible uh, laceration. After initially focusing on turbulence, today the NTSB said it's investigating a possible mechanical issue. I certainly want to emphasize that we have an excellent safety record with the commercial airlines in this country. But there are a number of events that have raised the attention lately. A number of close calls have the industry on high alert, and the head or the acting head of the FAA is expected to face some tough questions when he testifies before Congress. As for that Boston case, well, the suspect was taken into custody, and if convicted, he could face life in prison. Nora. Lilia Luciano, thank you so much.